Genuine danger. It's happened before. It would have happened this time, uh, I think. With a conservative government, and especially a conservative government that is entrenched partly by this horrendous situation that we have in our media, including the uh, new media and social media and so forth, we know, if you will, what we're up against. We know a lot about how bad it is. It is clear to us that we have to remain in the game, and more than that, that we have to up our game. Right? And, and, and that, is, that is a really, really crucial point. It's a political point. It's also, one might say, a spiritual uh, point, even. That when you really face reality, when you really look in the eye how bad things are in the world, the full nature of the crisis, when you really look in the eye how bad things are in this government, and arguably it's, well, certainly the worst government in terms of most of the things we care about in living memory. Um, you know, it, it's even worse than May's government, even worse than, than Cameron's government, if you look at who heads it and who makes it up. When you really look those things in the eye, well, then you, and if you're open to them, you have no alternative but to rise up. Yeah, you have no alternative but to say, this government, for the next five years, are going to try to pursue this awful agenda. I know where this is going, I know where we are, and I know where this is heading. What, what can I, if I'm a human being who has, who has feelings and is willing to feel their emotions, and who cares about myself, who cares about the next generation, who cares about the Amazon, and so on and so forth, well, then I know what I have to do. Yeah? And in a way, it becomes easier, in a way, it's liberating. Right? It frees you even further from the thought of, which quite a lot of British people have or had at least until recently of, well, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to make too many waves, or I'm a law-abiding citizen, or... No, no, forget all of that, right? We have a government who are basically intending to undertake climate criminal and ecologically criminal acts to go further than the acts they've already undertaken. You are released from the social contract, right? That is what Extinction Rebellion means. Because we are looking more and more down the barrel of extinctions of other beings that are happening right now, and the potential longer-term possibility even of our own extinction, we no longer are bound by their laws. That's what it means to be in rebellion. Right? That's why it is that a thousand people were willing to get arrested in London last April with the fantastic consequences, the game-changing consequences for environmental consciousness in this country that had. And 2,000 people uh, in October, and thousands more um, around the world. So the very fact of the general election result and of its terribleness directly implies that we have to raise our game, we have to aim higher. And that is, I think, in the darkness of these times, an encouraging thought.